Howdy! This is a tutorial for having your very own GeoServer on an AWS EC2 virtual machine. Now, GeoServer is an open source server that handles geospatial data interactions with the internet. With it, you can connect it to ArcGIS, create a website requesting all the data that you put into it, and a lot more since this will be hosted on online. Now, I have the tutorial here so that you can easily follow along and replay a certain part in case you get stuck. So, after creating your AWS account, um, head on over to the AWS console. Um, I'm going to go to this main page over here. So this is what you should be seeing whenever you head over to the main console area. So now we are going to need to use EC2 for creating a virtual machine. So we will go over here under compute. Now, after clicking on that, we like we just showed, we clicked EC2 under compute. And now we are going to launch an instance. Click on launch instance. Now here, under step one, we are choosing which operating system to use for our VM. So, and here we're going to select the Ubuntu server 1804. I'm going to look for it, 1804, select. Under choose an instance type, we are only going to use the TCU micro instance. Just make sure, don't change anything here, just make sure that free T or eligible is copied under here. So now configure instance details. Now, this is the most important step. Be, care be careful here because this is where we're telling GeoServer to set up on the fly. So we are going to scroll down all the way down here saying user data. And this is where we give the virtual machine commands to run whenever it starts up. So under the tutorial, I'm gonna head on over here. I'm going to copy everything. Oops, not, not everything. Copy all of this and paste it over here. So what you are currently doing, you are giving AWS the your your AWS VM the commands that it needs in order to install and run GeoServer the next time you ever want to like log into it. So now, continuing the tutorial, we're going to add storage. Add storage. Now let's keep this as it is. It's eight gigabytes is enough for the purpose of this tutorial. Of course, you can always come back here to add more storage or make a new VM with more storage, depending on what you need and what you want to do with it. Now, we are currently in add tags. We are going to skip through that because we don't need to do anything here. Now, another important part is the security group. So. This is where we allow the server to talk to the internet for someone else to use other IF alias, AKA you. So now we are going to create, we're going to add a rule and it's going to be a custom, custom TCP rule. It's already selected. The protocol was SSTCP and the port range we are going to put 8080. Now for the source, we are going to use anywhere so that way anybody can access it. Um, well, including, including the user. So now we're going to hit review and launch. Of course, you may, you will get a warning that the server is running, is open to the world, but as long as you turn off the machine, you will not have any encounter, any security issues, which I will show you how to do later in the tutorial. So now we currently have everything set up. Um, this is the last page where you select ver verify what you selected. One thing I would like to do is just never mind. Instance detail. I wanted to check instance details, but that won't be a thing anymore. Um, <laughs> but this is I was I just wanted to if in case you feel like you did step three wrong, go ahead and fix that. So now afterwards, we are going to hit launch. Now. This may look different for you, but what it is, what, because if it's your first time setting up anything on Amazon, um, but you need to choose an existing key pair. Think of this as your master key in case you ever need to manually access this server. So I'm, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to create a new key pair and I'm going to put tutorial two, since I've already, ha I probably already have tutorial one somewhere and we're going to hit download key pair. Now you can easily just save that file over to your desktop or save that save this file somewhere where you can have access to it because this is what you will need in order to access the server. If you lose this, you will probably have to create another virtual machine because of 
Amazon security protocols. So now, after initiating launch instances, you should be getting this little nice little green check mark saying that, they're, that the instances are launching and now you will go ahead and view instances. And what is currently happening is it is currently creating your virtual machine on the cloud. So normally this takes like 10 to 15 minutes to set up properly by itself. So, you know, go grab a coffee, enjoy it. I'm going to use the power of editing to skip over to that section right now. Now, after waiting for a couple of minutes and everything, this, this image should be easily available now. Now, one of the things that you do need to look for is that to make sure that the instance state is running and that in the status checks that you make, make sure that you see two out of two checks are passed. That way we can know that GeoServer installed properly. Another way of verifying it, which is a more detailed way, is to look at these system logs. This just shows all of everything that was going on while creating the, the VM and everything. So afterwards, should be good. So now let's go ahead and access this Geo server. So as I specified in the tutorial, we're going to get the public IPv4 DNS of this of this instance, and we're going to put it on 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 a web browser. But first, we do need to make sure that we add this little piece right here. So colon eighty eighty slash Geo server. That's this is where. GeoServer is stored on the instance um, and how it's being delivered to you. So I have an example IP address here. So this would be your normal IP address that you would get. You are going to change it to that and then adding the colon, colon 8080 GeoServer. So, and this is what you should see for a GeoServer login page. So let's go ahead and do that. So down here is where we'll see our public DNS IPv4. Let's copy it to our clipboard, open a new tab. Now, 8080 slash GeoServer. I'm going to use lowercase for that. And awesome. This is what you should see. You should see a login page for GeoServer. And um, let's go ahead and log into it. So as we see here, the user, the default uh, credentials for username and password is admin and Geo server. Log in. Close these little extra things, sorry. And now we have successfully created a geo server and we have access to it. So you are officially a geo server admin. Um, congratulations. Now, now that we've created the instance, we are going to show you a couple of admin details regarding AWS and geo server. Um, the first thing I would recommend you do in this geo server is to go ahead and change the password. Um, I'm not going to show that here, but it's just a simple, give it your current password, which is geo server and give it your new password. So that, because otherwise other people can access it because the default, the default password and username is so easy to, to pick, to guess. So, and then down here, AWS is all, um, AWS continuously charges pennies for using this virtual machine so whenever i will remind i will encourage you to whenever you stop working on it or whenever you stop using it or anything of the sort make sure you stop it so that way the machine turns off and you don't have to worry about any incurring charges on amazon um, another thing you can also do whenever you're done with the semester or whenever you just want to go ahead and delete all of this you can go ahead and hit terminate this will go ahead and destroy the VM and any data included. So anything that you might want to have up there that you want to bring download or anything, be sure to do that before you terminate your instance because you can't get that back. Um, besides from that, let's keep going through the tutorial. But yeah. Um, and yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. You don't, you no longer have to see unless you want to see a couple of the nice little features that GeoServer has. So GeoServer has a series of things that you can use. For example, it, it even has like data stored in everything. Um, what's really nice is that you can preview a lot of their layers. Um, so let's see, for example, this world rectangle polygon file, I can open it and it'll, it is being served through the internet. This is actually being downloaded. Bad image. Let's go ahead and use another layer instead. So yeah. 
these are Manhattan points of interest and we are seeing, huh, there's no base map being, being added to this. That's weird. Um, oh, because they're not base maps. But as you can see, there's a series of geospatial data that people can just, you can add to it and easily access it through GeoServer by requesting it. You can have, if, you, if you're aware of these, you have several formats of like how to pick you can even have PDFs of it if you want. I'm not going to download that for today. But as you can see, GeoServer has a series of things. Um, you can use, you can connect ArcGIS to this um, in case you wanted to have like an online server. Or you can probably use a, um, a web application that is just a website that, that ha that's accessing one of these maps. So the possibilities are seemingly endless when you have your own GeoServer cooked up which is quite nice because you can just easily add data, add workspaces. Here, let me go ahead. You can add layers, add stores. You can do a series of things with these, so which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, that was the tutorial for creating GeoServer on AWS. I'm going to go ahead and I don't need to use this anymore since I already have something at home. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate this and this will go ahead and destroy the VM image. Um, and a quick, nice, and simple. Thank you for watching.